a very good morning students we are in our regular class lecture and the subject is mining geology and this is the continuation of our previous video which is part 2 of open cast mining and in our previous video we had seen what is actually open cast mining and why we should go for open cast mining and then we had seen how the open cast mining is done and its types right and its type we had seen what is loading by hand and in this video we are going to cover what is actually loading by machine okay so loading by machine we have many machines the first one is the drag line a drag line consists of a prime mover house in a body and the engine activate the drum 4 and 5 and the rope 9 and 10 so here is the prime mover which is housed in a body so this is number one so the engine activates the rope uh, sorry drum 4 and 5 so this 4 and 5 are the two drums which can be activated by the uh, engine so when it rotates the rope will move front and back right both the things and by this the rope also activated which is 9 and 10 the rope passes over the pulley 11 at the end of the long or a boom so you have a pulley here which is uh, which has moved by the movement of this rope right okay the two ropes are attached to the either end of the heavy scrapper or a bucket. So here is a scrapper or you can also use a bucket. So the two end of say 9 and 10 has been attached to this uh, bucket or a scrapper. The operator sitting on the cabin moves the pulley so as to make the scrapper or bucket to swing 2 and 4 from the pulley while the rope is held tight. So here is the operator will be there. So he used to operate this four and five drums so as this pull uh, sorry this scrapper or bucket will move to and fro with a higher velocity right when the swing of the scrapper has attained a larger amplitude the rope are suddenly released so when the movement is at high intensity or higher amplitude then the rope will be released suddenly so what happens this will fall on the ground right when the swing of the scrapper is suddenly the rope is suddenly released the scrapper is flung far away and lands on the ground with a great impact digging deep so when it is released this will fall on the ground with a higher impact as it suddenly released right so now rope is tightened and the scrapper is drawn along the ground gathering the debris so after this what happens the rope will be tightened from 4 and 5 so the scrapper will move towards the machine and just by moving it will also collect the debris that has been broken on the ground surface right the operator operation are repeated so that the desired excavation is made so by doing the same work again and again you can remove the top surface with this scrapper or the bucket right the drag line is capable of turning around on a turntable so this is the turntable which is number two so it can turn around almost uh, say 3 degree and it is either mounted on the wheel skid or caterpillars okay so according to your necessity you can change use whether wheel skids or caterpillar right so this is what how it works and here is the actual machine and if you want to see the actual operation you can see it in here so you can see the operator's view point so the scrapper is uh, moving forward with this uh, drum so by towards the machine it actually collects the debris and picks it up so this is how the drag line works is that clear okay so now we are going to see the second loading by machine which is the power shovel and you can see this is the actual machine in the field the power shovel or mechanical shower comprises a prime mover which actuates all the moment so here is the uh, mechanical shovel with its prime mover so this prime mover controls all the operation of this uh, instrument or what do you call this uh, vehicle and the dipper arm has a rack and pinion arrangement so this is the dipper arm you can see here right this has a rack and pinion arrangement so this is the rack and pinion arrangement so this is used to give the thrust to the power shovel okay so to push this towards the ground or push this uh, in this uh, debris or something you have to give a thrust right so that's th uh, that kind of thrust is given by this sort of arrangement the dipper arm can also be moved up or down along the boom so as to increase or decrease the distance or depth of the operation so according to the position of where you want to work so this can be moved front and back up and down all such time of moment is uh, possible with this instrument this device okay the machine turns around on the turntable in the operation the shovel is placed at the convenient place close to the workplace okay so here you have to keep the shovel near the working uh, place so as to uh, dig the place right so this is how it is kept the rope is left kept loose the dipper arm thrust forward into the debris the boom is lifted and so as also the dipper so when the rope is kept loose what happens this will be moving easily right 
so when the thrust is given it will move uh, it will push us the sediment into the bucket or into the scraper okay and the rope is tightened by the drum so the drum when tightened it up what happens this dipper will moves up that is it will be lifting right the rope is tightened by the drum and also the debris is collected by the shovel the shovel is provided with a strong steel teeth so in the edge you will be having strong steel teeth so it will it can dig uh, deep greater depths right uh, in the front for digging it has a hinged bottom plate which opens towards down and facilitate emptying so in the bottom you have a opening so you can use this just like that opening this bottom will use as a loading to the machine or even to the conveyor belt does the debris fall into the truck or the dumper with con uh, considerable force and the vehicle should be able to take the impact so when it is released what happens the debris whatever it is collected within this will fall on the dumper or the conveyor or whatever it is it, uh, it will fall at a higher impact so it has to be very strong to hold that uh, weight right so this is how the loading by machine works if you want to see the video you can see it here so this is how the shovel is working it, ha it has to push it and keep it down and you can see the opening at the bottom here in this video so when it is opened down the sediment is dropped into the dumper and it shakes actually because it is happening at a higher intensity and you can see you can actually imagine the size of this power shovel so you can see it is very larger right so you can see the con size comparison between this and this so you can feel the size of the power shovel so this is how it works so let us see the comparison between the power shovel and the drag line the drag line has a longer reach than the power shovel so when working in terms of uh, reach the drag line can reach a longer distance whereas i mentioned in the video itself in the power shovel you have to be near the working space right so this is the first advantage towards the uh, drag line then it can dig below the level of its base so the drag line can dig um, below its level so if it is wheel base at a certain height you can dig below the wheel base also in terms when it is when you are working in that drag line but when you are working in the power shovel it will only work above its uh, certain fixed height okay so this is the second advantage in terms of your drag line then the power shovel is more positive in act action than the drag line by action of a dipper and the boom the shovel can made to dig into the broken rock and lift the same to the considerable height so that facilitate loading into the truck dumper or wagon so the most advantageous thing in this power shovel is that it can actually lift the material above right in terms of drag line you cannot lift it much height right so when it is a power shovel you can lift it uh, to a certain height so that it can be used to uh, d say drop it in the dumper or a truck or even wagon so this can be a great advantage in terms of power shovel and it can also operate on far uh, fairly hard material example boulder and sandstone so when you are working in the drag line you can only work on the uh, broken rock debris but when you are working with the power shovel you can also use a fairly harder material you can break it with the help of this power shovel so this is the advantage with this thing okay and the last is the power shovel are often employed for stripping over burden before opening a quarry so the power shovel is mainly used to remove the top uh, sediment or soil or even a broken rock surface after that only the quarrying and the mining takes place okay so this is the comparison between the power shovel and drag line and with this i am completing this video you will continue with the part 3 video for the next other set of machines and other things right thank you